So the Hurst Chrome Billet Plus that I've got here today is gonna to be the cream of the crop of short shifters available for the Mustang. And it's a great option for any Mustang owner who wants a tough and adjustable short throw setup. It looks like it's right out of the 60s that's gonna improve your stock feel and your overall driving experience. Now short shifters for the T5 and the T45 Trans make for a simple install that anybody can tackle. So expect an easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here and about an hour job with basic hand tools. I will have more for you coming up on that soon. So short shifters don't add any horsepower, torque or throttle response. So why bother, right? Well, if you've been in your Mustang for long enough, you probably know that the OE shifter is honestly not that good. You probably know if you're sitting here watching this video that when you drive your car the way it deserves to be driven that the stock unit just doesn't hold up. And what I mean by that is that when you're hitting that wall, so to speak, in between second and third, which I know we've all done at one point or another. But aside from that, it's just sloppy, mushy, and gear changes kind of feel like a tea party, whereas we want you to be at a metal concert. Now the Hearst fixes all of that, and I bet to say better than any of the other options out there. Now with this, you're drastically shortening those throws, breaking through that second to third wall and you're getting the adjustability to make this as smooth as you want while looking great at the same time. Now this is as OG or old school as it gets with the straight chrome stick and the cue ball and it's right at home in any Mustang. So let's start with the biggest benefit here and that's the short throw reduction. So expect to shave your shifts down by 30%. That's a huge reduction and while it's on par with some of the other options out there, there's other reasons why this is a great choice and that's gonna be the self-centering alignment and tough return springs. So the centering alignment is tight and it's gonna cut down on the chances of you missing second to third like I talked about before. But the adjustable bias springs are a big upgrade too and what they'll do is help get the shifter into neutral faster and aiding in gear changes just as much as the reduction in throw. But the best part about all of this is that you get to make your stick tension as tight or forgiving as you want it to be, which is huge in making the perfect driving experience. Now, if you wanna do more than just shorten up that throw and make your Mustang feel like a proper pony, this is definitely the way to go. So how does Hearst make all this stuff work so well? Well, first up, you're getting a billet aluminum base with a nice gold color to it and an upgraded CNC stop collar that's leaps and bounds stronger than the factory components. Now, the rotating pivot mechanism here is stainless steel and the adjustable return springs are also beefed up too, which is where all that improved feel between shifts comes from. So everything's then finished off with that stainless steel stick that's chrome triple plated and it's gonna provide a classic look and feel. Now the threads on the stick are 3 8 by 16 so if you wanted to switch out the pull cue for something else, keep those measurements in mind or for some reason if you wanted to, you could use the original shift knob. And the factory boot will work in conjunction with this setup but the one that comes along with this is that ribbed rubber and it screams old school and I honestly think that it just looks that much better. Now a quick tip I do wanna let everybody know about is that that when you're doing the swap, spend the extra 15 bucks and pick up a new shifter base and handle gasket because it's gonna make the install a little bit easier along with helping water down some of the vibration and noise. And if you're just interested in reducing the throw, not really after that adjustability and want a perfected experience, make sure to check out some of the other options back on the website. So for all these upgraded goodies, you're looking at spending just shy 300 bucks and it is one of the more expensive options out there, but Remember, you're getting a lot more than just a reduction in throw. This is one of the most well-built shifter options we offer from spring to knob, so if you're just abusing your trans or you want the best experience, this is hands down gonna be your best bet. Now to quote a customer back on the product page, this thing is worth every dollar. Install-wise, you're looking at a straight one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here and about an hour's worth in the garage or driveway with a basic socket set. So you begin by getting your shifter in neutral and then turning your factory shift knob counterclockwise and then removing them. After that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take both hands and then place your fingers underneath on each side of the boot, gripping the boot rim where you're then gonna pull that up to remove it. Depending on which model you have, because this does fit multiple generations, you may have to remove some sound deadening, so make sure just to pull that aside and then save it when you're reinstalling this unit. But once that's aside, remove the four screws that hold the factory inner shift boot to the floor tunnel and then remove the boot itself. Use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the four hex head bolts that fasten the stock shifter assembly to the trans. Because the kit comes with new bolts, you can then trash those and reinstall your Hearst unit in the opposite order, then you're good to go. So that's gonna wrap up my quick review of Hearst Chrome Billet Plus Shifter for the T5 and T45 trans fitting the 83 through early 01 GT, the 94 through 04 V6, and the 96 through 99 Cobra. That can be found right here at AmericanMuscle.com.